guys welcome back to my channel today we're going to be doing a grocery haul as you guys know I'm still transitioning so there are like one or two things that aren't vegan but for the most part this is going to be a completely vegan grocery haul for a family of six I did my shopping at Wegmans and Aldi so let's jump right in so since the smaller of the two hauls is definitely Aldi I'm going to start there and then we will work our way to the Wegmans haul just to make it a little bit easier because it's a lot of stuff so I got these cinnamon raisin bagels and these are really good. Um, slice them up, put on some vegan butter or cream cheese or whatever you want. Bada bing, bada boom, quick breakfast. I also got some old fashioned oats. Some burrito sized tortillas. This plain wheat bread. These tortilla chips, these are like some of my favorite chips. I love these. Um, they're only 89 cents a bag and they are like some of the best tortilla chips that I feel like you can buy. No, they're not organic, but they're really good. So there's that. And then I got these for my husband because he takes his lunch to work and he cannot kick his soda habit. So hopefully he can limit himself to one of these per day and then he will. And if so, then it'll last for two weeks. So that is the goal. Um, the next thing I got was just some plain unsweetened almond milk and um, I prefer to get this from Wegmans but they were out of this kind there um, so I had to get it from Aldi. The only way, the only thing I really use this for anyway is for um, like cooking with so I wasn't really you know too concerned about it even though again it is not my favorite almond milk. And then I got some chili seasoning because I'm planning to make some chili later on today for dinner. I got some banana chips because I'm going to be making some um, granola and turning it into a banana walnut cereal for me to have in the mornings for breakfast. I got some unripe bananas because I don't like my bananas ripe. I like them when they are just turning yellow. So I buy them green so that they'll last a little bit longer. Also, I got some raisins. Um, I haven't had raisins in so long, but I really wanted to try and try to incorporate them back into my diet and also get my kids into eating them. So hopefully they'll like these too. So I got just a small pack of raisins. Then I got some frozen strawberries. I buy these every single week. Um, we put these in smoothies, normally strawberry banana smoothies. And also... My kids just like to eat these plain. They just eat these straight out of the bag. So I got two bags of frozen strawberries. I always keep frozen fruit on hand for smoothies or for just snacking on. Then I got a bag of my favorite cucumbers. These are the best cucumbers in my opinion. So I always buy these every time I go to the store. Um, and I just eat them alongside whatever meal I'm eating. I just eat them like slice them up and eat them plain with my food. So I got one bag of these. And then I got two bags of mandarin oranges. These were on sale this week at Aldi for $2.69. Um, anytime they're less than $3, I'll usually buy two or three bags. Um, they eat these like candy. <laughs> so I got two bags of these. Probably should have got three. But I got two bags of those. And then in my last Aldi bag... I got some flax seeds because I'm running out and I plan to put these in my granola as well. Also got some walnuts for my granola cereal. They used to sell this uh, banana granola cereal at Aldi but they stopped selling it so now I'm going to try to make my own and hopefully it'll just be a little bit healthier as well so it'll work out but Walnuts are very healthy for you. They're good for you just to pop a few throughout the day to get some healthy fats and all that in. So yeah, one bag of walnuts. I got a jar of plain kosher pickle, dill pickle spears. Um, my kids love pickles as well, so they'll just eat these as snacks throughout the day, which is fine by me. I got some crushed tomatoes for my chili. I got some 
pancake syrup. Um, I'm well aware that this is not good for you at all. But my kids do not like the flavor of maple syrup with their pancakes or waffles. So I need to find a recipe to kind of make this so that it won't contain high fructose corn syrup. Yes, this is crap, but they won't eat it. They will only eat this. So I need to find a, a another solution that's a little bit healthier for them. But until then, I, this might be the last time I buy this. But right now, I did get one more pack of it. And then I got some brown sugar because I'm always baking for videos to um, try and bring you guys new content. So I got one pack of light brown sugar. And finally, I got some fat-free refried beans. These are um, vegan because they don't have, I believe, lard is what they put in them typically. So that's why you want to get the fat-free kind because it won't have the lard and therefore it will be completely vegan. So... I'm probably going to use these alongside the tortillas to make some um, quesadillas. Just put some veggies inside with the refried beans, fry it up, and that's a quick meal um, for some quesadillas. And at Aldi, I spent a total of about $40. Um, I had to go back for the oats because I realized that I needed some, so I had to do a separate um receipt for those but then the receipt for this one is for 38 so that's puts us around $40 for the entire haul which is not too bad because that was quite a bit of food and I got some like specialty items that I wouldn't normally buy every week like walnuts and sodas and flax seeds oh and also these banana chips I got quite a few things that I don't, don't buy on a regular basis so that's that for the Aldi haul I'm going to go ahead and put this stuff away and then we're going to move on to the Wegmans haul just because this table is like out of control. Okay, so I got those groceries put away. So now I'm moving on to Wegmans. And the first thing I got was this 10 grain hot cereal. I had never even heard of this before, let alone tried it. But um, it looked interesting. So I, you know, read the ingredients and... It just seems like something that might be a really good change from my normal oatmeal in the morning because that's my typical hot cereal that I would go for. But yeah, so I decided to give this a try. And you guys will see this in upcoming videos, um, like what I eat in the day videos about like how to prepare it and what I put in it, things like that, if you're interested in that. And then I also got some coconut flakes. One, because I just love coconut. And two... Because I want to put this in my granola as well. So I got those. And then I got this chocolate granola or chocolate coconut granola. This was on clearance because they were like phasing it out. So it was like $2.64 I think or $2.46. So I figured why not try it. Um, it is vegan. It's gluten free. Which I believe most granola is anyway. Um, and it's again chocolate and coconut. So I figured you know, I would give it a try. See how it is. I know I probably won't ever be able to get it again, but I could probably recreate it if I like it. So and there's that. And then I also got some pears. My kids love pears. So I got those. And then I want to say this is the only thing I got that wasn't vegan. And that's these onion rings. And my son has been asking me for onion rings for like weeks. So, none of the options in the store were actually vegan. They all had milk in them. So, I figured I would just go ahead and get them a pack. Until I can uh, make him some on my own. I need to, like, make a recipe up for it so that he can get some on a regular basis. But, yeah. So, you can see right there that they contain milk. But, yeah. So, that's the only thing I got that wasn't vegan was these onion rings. Then I got some fries these are my favorite um store-bought fries so i buy these not as much as i used to but um every now and then i'll buy a couple bags of these if i don't feel like um cutting up potatoes and making my own fries so i actually got two bags of these and then i got something new which was these violife mozzarella shreds um i tried their cheddar which i got as well this is really good Tastes just like cheddar cheese to me. It smells like it. Tastes like it. Melts really well. Does everything 
that you want your cheese to do. So I really like this one. Um, but I had not tried the mozzarella before, so I decided to get these as well. And I'm going to use these for pizza. So I got the mozzarella and also the mature cheddar slices. And I also got something else new, which is this coconut milk yogurt. I got the unsweetened one. I'll just put some agave or maple syrup in it to sweeten it up when I eat it. And I've actually planned to eat it with the granola. And also my kids love yogurt, so we can all have some yogurt and granola as a snack. Um, this is not very big though. It's 24 ounces. This will be gone probably in one serving Let me see. or like in one snack time. But yeah, there's only four servings inside this container. So this will be gone very fast, but hopefully it's good. I know I've tried, my daughter tried this brand of yogurt before and I believe she liked it. So I decided to go back and give it another try. And then I also got these beefy crumbles. This is my favorite um, beef crumble or beef substitute when it comes to making things like spaghetti or chili because these actually have a really good texture. Some of the meat substitutes that are already in crumbles are like, they just don't have that texture like real ground beef, but these really do. They do have, they have that like chew. They're not chewy, but they have like a bite to them that you would want and that you kind of expect when you're dealing with ground beef. So honestly, I don't feel like you'd be able to tell that these weren't meat unless somebody told you. So I got those for my chili. And then I got some spicy chipotle hummus. This is my first time trying this. Um, I'll just use it to dip some cucumber in or some chips. But I love hummus, so I'm sure I like it. And then I got a bunch of frozen veggies because I don't really like to use canned veggies. And um, it's not really a good time to buy corn fresh. So I got two bags of this um, corn. I got two bags of peas. You can't really buy fresh peas. So two bags of peas. I got one bag of spinach. I'll just eat this sauteed or whatever or throw it into some smoothies I got some peas and carrots in case I want to make um a pot pie this is what I'll use for that with some carrot I'm sorry with some potatoes so I got that and then I got a bag of frozen mixed vegetables and then I got a huge family size bag of green beans because I love green beans and sometimes they just go bad before I can get to them when I buy them fresh. Plus, this is a lot more cost effective to buy them frozen as opposed to um, fresh. So, you know, it depends on what you're making. Sometimes you will you will want them to get them fresh because they'll just taste better in certain recipes. But I'm just going to season them and not boil them, but, you know, cook them really quickly. So this is really easy for me to throw together meals with. So I like to buy these. And then I got this cinnamon spice black tea. Everybody in my house loves this tea. This is actually the Wegmans brand and yeah, they like to drink this hot. So we just ran out. So I decided to grab another bag of this or another box of it. And then I got some whole grain spaghetti. As we know, it has more fiber, has more health benefits than plain white pasta. So. I got that. Then I got some pinto beans. I'm trying to make the switch to dry beans because they're cheaper and you get a whole lot more than you would like in a can or two of normal beans or even three. You just get a whole lot of beans like you would get probably three pounds of beans out of one pound. So yeah, got some small red beans. I can make some red beans and rice with this. And then I also got some black beans because I just love black beans. I eat them. I could eat them every day. Like there's no limit to what you can do with black beans. So got some of those. And this is pretty much my favorite almond milk, the Wegmans brand one. So I got two of the original. Normally I would buy the vanilla one too, but they didn't have any. So because everybody else obviously loves it too. It's always sold out. So um, yeah, I got two of the original almond milks. This one is sweetened. But it's fine. Uh, I like to use it in cereal, stuff like that. So, yeah, I got two of these. Would have got three or four if I could have gotten the vanilla one, too. But they didn't have it. Normally, I would probably get, like, 
two vanilla, one of this, and one unsweetened, or two this, one vanilla, and one unsweetened. But this is all they had, and I actually got the last two containers of this, so I kind of lucked up there because I do not like all these almond milk at all when it comes to like eating it in cereal and stuff like that. I can cook with it, but I don't like the flavor or texture of it. It's thick, thicker to me. I just don't like it. So yeah. Then I got some more bananas. I got some that were a little bit more ripe. This is how I would eat my bananas like today. If I were going to eat them, which I am, I'll probably eat some out. This is how I want my bananas to look when I'm eating them. So I got those and then I got some that are a little bit less ripe. So I usually do it like that. Get like some completely green, some halfway green, and then some that are ripe enough for me to eat. Got a couple more bananas. And then... I also got, I told you guys about this in my last What I Eat in a Day. Um, I haven't tried it since I've been vegan again, or since I've been vegan or going back vegan this time. I really liked it the first time I was vegan, so I decided to give it a try again. So you guys will see my reaction to this in my next What I Eat in a Day video. So there's that. And then I got some of the Wegmans brand pasta sauce. I really like this sauce. Um, Wegmans does a really good job of labeling their products. So you can clearly see that this one is vegan. So yeah, this one is the mushroom. I got two of the mushroom ones and then I got one of the tomato basil. Then I got one bag of pancake or one box of pancake mix. I like to get this from there because it is vegan there. Um, if you don't get the buttermilk one, if you just get this plain, you can see the ingredients are pretty simple. So we just have flour, sugar, wheat and malted barley flour and leavening, salt, and baking soda that's it so yep I like to buy this pancake mix and it's really cheap it's only like a dollar 49 cents so really can't beat that and then I got two cans of these petite diced tomatoes they come with their flavor with garlic and olive oil and some seasonings and this is just good to have on hand for recipes stuff like that so Picked up two cans of these. And then the last thing I got was a 32 ounce container of pure maple syrup. This is pretty self-explanatory, but I'll use it for recipes, stuff like that. I'm going to use it to make my granola. Um, and this was cheaper at Wegmans than it was anywhere else. So I picked it up there. Again, this is the 32 ounce container, so it's pretty big. They also have a 60, 64 ounce container, but this one was $13.99. And the 64 ounce was $24.99. So you do save money by getting the bigger one. Um, so I might get that one next time. But yeah, so that's everything I got from Wegmans. And my total amount spent at Wegmans was $89.71. So that is that. So that's everything that I got for the week. I think this stuff will last us for... It should. I, I'm hoping it'll last a week. Um, I know most of it will. Some things I might have to go back and get more of before. No, no, I think I got enough stuff to last a week. The only thing is if I'm making recipes that require other ingredients, that's when I end up having to go back to the store for more stuff. Um, I'm pretty sure I have everything I need for like a normal, like if I weren't making anything special, I have everything that I need for that. But just if I were to like be testing recipes or something like that, I might need to have something else. But usually I just do Amazon orders for like random stuff that I need. Or I'll do, which is also Amazon, I'll do Prime Now. Which is basically you can get your groceries delivered from Whole Foods within two hours. Or from Amazon's website if they have those specific, um, whatever you're looking for on Prime Now. You have to actually download the Prime Now app or go on, I want to say it's primenow.amazon.com so I'll use that I use that a lot to order from Whole Foods for like specialty stuff so yep that's it for this grocery haul I hope you guys enjoyed it I'm gonna go ahead and put all this stuff away and then I'm gonna start filming a what I eat in a day so you guys can see how I what I think about this new coffee creamer so uh, give this video a like if you liked it and I will see you guys in the next video